Coming up on this episode. And we're really excited to have those windows in that cabin. What a difference that's gonna make. You're gonna hit that truck. Okay, that barge is not moving. That barge is not moving. Yikes. It was just having to bail out all the water in the boat. So we have to get back, pick up our windows. This trip will help us create the most amazing wilderness viewing, stargazing, northern lights loving, tiny cabin ever. So we're picking up our windows today. Those are your biggest ones. Uh -huh. And then there's these three here. There's the windows. If we put two of those down first, they'll, they'll uh, uh, rest up against the gunnels. Then the, then the two long ones can ride out onto the tailgate. And then the last ones will be the rakes and the, and the third small guy there. You're going to have to take what you've got in the box of your truck. A lot of it is going to have to either move to one side or be put in the back seat. What we're going to do is we're going to run and get a couple of bales of insulation. And then uh, we can put one on either side. Okay. And Yikes. We'll kind of hold it up in the middle. I would rather the whole stack stay against one gunnel. Mm. Against one side of the Yeah. Truck. And then what we'll do is we'll put a cardboard corner down so that the truck doesn't rub on the window. And um, and then and then you can put the bales on both bales on the other side to cushion it and keep it from flopping over. But a strap would work really well too. I'll bring the truck over here. So you've got lots of experience doing this kind of yeah. thing. <laughs> well, we closed a few windows in our day. So thanks for storing them for us. Thank you so much. So we're going down a logging road for an hour and a half, hey? Slowly. That's very, very. And we've got Les there helping us bring them out. So this is them. And we're really excited to have those windows in that cabin. What a difference that's going to make. With our long three and a half hour road trip behind us, we finally arrived to pick up our windows. This is truly a milestone for us. It will be so nice to actually have windows installed. We will now be able to get the tiny cabin to a locked up state. You know, a couple of these windows are pretty big and very heavy. They are triple paned to help keep the cold out in the winter and the heat out in the summer. I mean, these windows are manageable. These two are pretty stinking heavy. So <laughs> um, I'm gonna lend you my papers cups and I'll just ask that you return them when you're finished on your way to town or whatever. Just be a couple of days, that's fine. I don't use them very often. I, I'd like to give you something make your life a little easier, a little safer. Glazier's cups are big suction cups. Yeah, I know what they are. You know, wow. And, uh, they'll give you a better way to grip. Well, even if it's just to get it off the Kubota and lift it into the hole, if uh, one person's on the outside, one person, whatever you guys want to do with them is fine. They, they're they rated up to 350 pounds per cup. Oh, wow. So I'm going to go grab them right now. Thank it's you. Very easy to use. What you do is you put it up against the glass okay. and you just pump it until it stays in and the red bar is gone. Okay, yeah. And to release it, you just, on the other side, you just push the valve and it pops it back out oh, again. Oh, wow. Sometimes you have to wait a second until all the pressure bleeds off. Okay. But it, once you've got that on there. What a difference that makes. It'll make a big difference for the larger windows. Thank you very, very much. We actually ordered these windows last fall, but they didn't arrive before we had to leave for the winter. So thankfully, Les and his crew offered to store the windows for us, keeping them safe until we could return to pick them up. I sure hope they fit. Reframing rough window openings while standing on a ladder would be difficult at best. So I really hope I measured right. We have a long way to haul these windows back to the island. Let's hope they survive the trip without any damage. Whoa, just fitting. 
Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's spitting, it's spitting, I think. Oh my goodness, look at that. We didn't know if we could fit those. Les really went above and beyond here. He is the genuine article, a true gentleman, and was a delight to do business with. There it is, it's all packed up, it's ready for Bird Island. Thank you so much, we're really excited. Okay. Okay, we might have been a little aggressive with our packing because we've got these windows. Oh, oh yikes. Beverly. Oh. The Beverly Hillbillies indeed. All this load seems to be missing is grandma and a rocking chair. Okay, here we are. We got some windows. Got some insulation. Got some flashing. Some drip edge. Hopefully we have some luck. And uh, we'll make it back to the island without any issues. Still sitting there. I still can't. sitting there. Where? He's still sitting right there. He's right, just sitting right there. See? Nope. Oh, there he is. I see him. Staring at us. It's Hi. It's kind of right there. There he is. Hello, bear. Oh, he's just a beauty. Oh, hang on. Can I shut the truck off for a second? Yeah. Put the uh, Ignition on in case you have to roll the window up real quick. Hey, bear. Oh, he's going away. Oh, he's just so beautiful. Yeah. Getting these windows over to the island requires the barge, which is currently loaded. So we will first have to free up space by removing the payload that's sitting on there now. Once that's done, we can then head over to the boat ramp. If these forks look a little bit off, it's because they are. They won't connect to the hydraulic rams without me modifying the frame. I don't have time to do that now, so I'm just going to have to wing it. Should be no problem though, right? Tip over. Why would she ever think that? Oh, that's why. That was a nightmare waiting to happen. I sure hope those aren't ruined. Sure. 
Is the ramp wrecked? The level is. How do I get that back up? Uh, I knew that was sketchy. Note to self. Safety straps are a good thing. Okay, let's see if Pepper is nimble enough to get me out of this little predicament. I can't tell how high I am. I want to go under the top bar. You're under the top bar. Am I going to hit the brake? No. You will soon, though. Okay, you're under the top bar. Are you able to unhook that? No, you just made it tighter because you pushed the thing up against it. If you could just tip the rust colored one in and not up. You want this one tipped in? Then you can undo that thing. Can you just tip it in, up and over at all? I don't think so. But what I think I can do is I can just lift this up and just kind of drag it off the ramp just for now so we can get out of here. That didn't work before, so I'm just thinking it's because the forks are so off kilter. Yeah. Is there a whole bunch of fluid in that one at the front? I don't know. It's all coming out. Okay. Um, if it seems like I'm being really, really slow and deliberate this time, it's because I am. Tell me when I'm off the ramps. You're off the ramps. Completely? Yes. Both of them. You're, you've cleared both of them. Okay. Oh no, my battery's dying. Oh no. Do you have the keys for the barge? Yeah. We're off to the boat launch to go and pick up the truck with the load of windows. A beautiful calm night. So let's hope this goes okay. Guess what? <laughs> it's on there. First time ever with the windows, the insulation, it's on there. And we're headed home. Home to the island. Doing improved. Don't forget me. Okay, that barge is not moving. That barge is not moving. Yikes. I'm on, okay, I'm on the boat because once again I don't really I don't really want to go down on that. Hmm. I felt the water was deep enough to be able to handle this. We are such good anchors. Alright, so we had to take that truck off and he's gonna back it up and then we'll see how this goes. Oh no! Our camera battery died right here. It's all good though. We made it back to the island. So it's one year after the first time we ever stepped foot on this island. Who says we don't learn our lessons? Because at that point I had a camel raincoat, camel rain pants, and literally that was kind of it. We now have a little bit more gear 
And this hat is a keeper. Love it. Love it. This morning I'm going down to where Pepper is. Pepper's our Kubota. Going to see what Pepper's up to today. And we brought the truck over last night. So we have some stuff that we have to do today because tomorrow is the big day, window day. Those guys. We got stuff to do. This is all kind of bound up. Um, what I want to do is separate the grapple from the cement mixer. And we've just been trying to maneuver this thing to get that done. Now that I've got the forks working. Oh, you pulled it down, did you? Did you pull it down the thing? To undo it? Yeah, I used that S hook that you yeah. talked about. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, it worked. Okay, well that was one issue. Was, was that they were connected. Yeah, exactly. Always nice when we don't have to break stuff. Rare, but it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you're funny. Okay, let's go over what I've learned so far. Number one, there really are no shortcuts. You just can't be in a hurry when handling payloads with a machine, especially when they're stacked in a rickety way like these were. And two, to avoid a jumbled mess of twisted metal, remember that safety straps are your friends. And oh yeah, slow and steady wins the race. Do you think you should push against the bot the front of that red thing so you can get some slack on the yellow strap underneath? Well, the yellow strap's out of the way. I'm going to get the grapple first. The yellow strap is around it. The yellow strap is right around it. I see. Hmm. Melody seems pretty focused on that yellow strap. So we're going to try and push that red a little bit closer if possible. I don't know if we'll be able to. I'm just saying if you push the red closer, we could undo that strap, that yellow strap. But you've got the problem with the black implement pushing against that top rock. So what I want to do is strap on to this thing here. Yeah. Okay. We're just learning as we go. And this is so great because we have this new machine, which is going to be really helpful for us. It's yeah. going to, well, it's going to make the world a difference, honestly. I mean, we couldn't have done anything a while ago. It was really hard to figure it all out, but now we're going to be okay. For the most part, I'd say. We are. We're going to be good. You see that yellow thing at the bottom though, right? Yeah. Okay. I just want this thing to come with me when I tip this over. Right. Yeah. Okay. And I know haters are going to hate. <laughs> you know what? I love that about our subscribers like they really are amazing and they've given us a lot of really good hints nobody's been mean they understand we don't have a clue hey yeah i wonder if i can pick this up now and just back it up not with that yellow strap underneath what i was telling you honey is i'll just pull it underneath right now yeah i'll pull it when i move this i'll show you Oh, we must be on different pages. We must be, because I feel like he's not going to be able to move that without pulling that thing in front, because it looks attached to me. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, that's been known to happen, too. <laughs> no. 
Way better now that the forks have the hydraulics all attached properly. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so if you pick it up. Um, exactly what I wanted. Except for the strap at the bottom. I was thinking of just completely detaching the yellow strap and then doing it. Sorry? What's it connected to? Well, the yellow strap is connecting the whole second piece. So everything's going to come with it. But it's caught though, underneath that machine. Like that front machine would have to be picked up in order to let that yellow strap go, I think. I'm thinking I should disconnect the yellow strap. That's why I think now, if you put that down just three or four inches, you can detach that yellow strap from everything. That was kind of how I was thinking. You, there you go. And then once you're apart from that, you'll be able to just move it all. There you go. There you go. It's going to go smooth now. That was it. That was holding it back. Trust your little wife. She knows. My tiny wife? Your tiny wife. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever been called tiny in my life, but I'm 5'10", so I'm, uh, my sister's tiny. She's five feet tall. Well, Disentangling the grapple from the cement mixer was quite a chore, but it's done now. And I'm going to need these grapples to clear a path for the truck so that we can drive it and the windows around to the cabin. You want to strap those closed or no? It's going to go that way. Yeah. What? You're going to have to... That will control how fast this falls. You might have to put a log in front. No, I'm going to get a strap. So we have a bit of a predicament because that grapple there needs to go in the other way. And... It's not going to fit there. It's looking like a real boneyard here, but that's okay. So he's going to put that grapple on the ground there. He's going to need to use it soon. He's just going to lay it down and then he's going to pull it the other way around and then attach it. Take those forks off and then attach that grapple and then go down the path and then he's going to clear some trees out of the way so that we can move that over to the tiny cabin because that's got our precious windows in which isn't it stunning that they actually made their way here my goodness but they're here oh so exciting see how that green there's a green tinge when you look through that's because there's three panes of glass there and you might have heard less our window guy talking to us about that yesterday it's kind of interesting it's kind of fun owning a big machine i've never owned one before oh he's doing something here uh oh that strap looks like it's gonna go that worked. Whew. It's a hot day today and it's only just like May. It's the end of May. Um, and it's really nice and hot. So I kind of have a hankering to go fishing. So we're hoping that when some of the work gets done, we can go fishing. So I just need to clean these out a little bit. That's the before shot. This is the before shot. This is after the cleaning. <laughs> oh, actually two separate ones. Yeah, this is uh... nice.
nice. So for the first time we're putting on, what would you call these things? This is called a skeleton grapple and this is hydraulic hoses for the skeleton grapple. So this thing is called the skeleton grapple. We're gonna go connect that skeleton grapple now. This is all kind of neat stuff I like myself. I think I'm gonna lose a lot of the ladies here. <laughs> It's just kind of interesting to know how it all works though, for me. Pretty little machine, pepper. That seemed too easy. Ooh, not quite done. Okay. Kind of frustrating because we got mics this year so that we wouldn't have all the background noise overtaking what we were saying. But we need an additional attachment and so we'll get that I think next week. So, sorry everyone, this episode's going to be a little bit loud again. I'm going to do my very best to make sure that it's workable and livable for you. You got the graphics on. Now I was just going to figure out how to use it. This is the first time we've ever operated these. Hoping that they'll just... Oh, look at that. Uh-oh. You lost something. You lost one of those connections, honey. So far this season, we've had blessings, challenges, and of course, a couple of well-timed lessons to learn from. We are grateful for it all, especially Pepper. Next up, we begin installing the windows, and we can't wait to get going. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please support us by clicking the thumbs up icon on YouTube. We invite you to also subscribe and click the bell. You'll be notified when we upload new content. Please invite your friends and family to come along too. Bye for now.